questions It's all left up to us To change this present situation Take a lesson from our elders Don't make the same mistake Let's do what we love And get rid of all the hate Straighten it out Gotta straighten it out Straighten it out Straighten it out Yeah, we gonna straighten it out my name is SJ Miyashiro, and I'm one of the co-founders of the SJ Invitational Graffiti Battle. So the SJ Foundation uses art in public as a bullhorn to draw attention to critical human and environmental issues. By creating events like this where different organizations come together and everybody owns a piece of it, it's a community effort. It's a people's movement to bring energy and life and art into a community that doesn't have those things. This year we have a gallery show at Smashbox Gallery, which is a new gallery in Oakland. We're featuring some of the canvases from past year's battles. So they're from all over the country, from New York, Chicago, Hawaii, Los Angeles. So the Cannes Film Festival, we have Bomb It 2, which has premiered in San Francisco for the first time with our festival. We also showed some artist shorts on Doe's Green and a couple of other artists, and that's from Friends We Love out of Los Angeles. And then we also showed some of our water rights and battle videos so that people would know about our programs. This year's Pecha Kucha was held at Oaksterdam University. This year was all women lineup. Real exciting to get women with a fresh perspective, a different perspective. They're really about beautifying and making things better. Sometimes guys just want to crush and destroy and be all aggressive, but they're you know, about building together. So that was really nice to see. The Fremery Park, people in Oakland call it a Little Bobby Hutton Park. And so there's a lot of work being done on the ground in the after school programs in the neighborhoods by people that care about the community, people that have long standing roots, you know, going back generations there that want to help the youngsters and help their communities. So during Life is Living Festival, we have a bunch of different organizations presenting different activities for people to do. All of it's free. Questlove, DJ'd. From the originals to the nine, you know. How y'all feel out there? Y'all feeling good today? It's like a family reunion tonight. You know how we feel. The Black Book Battle is for the younger folks. There's three age categories, basically, you know, teenagers. And they're also given a word, and they've got so much time to draw and color in their books. And it's nice because it brings them together, gives them something to do, makes them feel a part of the community and part of the festival. It, it worked for me, and I figured, let's share it. I mean, it'll work for the youngsters. The primary event at Life is Living is the, the battle itself. So we've got 20 artists from around the world competing for the the gold can. Each year we have the winners come from the different cities, but this is the first time we were able to get first and second place from each city come, so we felt that the caliber of talent was really high. So the point of the battle is to, one, make the general public more aware that there's a creation side to something that's normally considered destruction and uh, two, to encourage the youth to make statements with their art. We emphasize and challenge the artists to aspire to the highest level of writing, which is the production. And the production is not just the letters, but it's the concept, the characters, the background, the whole nine. And each battle, we give the contestants a word and we give them their paint, so there's no way they can prepare for the battle because they don't know what colors they're gonna get, they don't know what the word's gonna be. The word that we had this year was proud, and I think that was really challenging for people because they had to think like, what am I proud of? Am I proud of my culture or where I live or what my history is or whatever they could think of, they had to put it into that message. And they're being judged by Apex from San Francisco, Ryan from Jersey and LA, and Vogue from Oakland. These are some of the top talents in the country. What we try to do is pick folks who are good role models, who are very cool, that they're not so much there to win, win, win. They're there to have a good time. And I think that 
selection of artists that have that energy, it shows. So when you, you bring art and you can see the, the passion and the heart that's involved with creating of it, people feel that, you know, and so instead of looking at a blank space, it doesn't engage them in thought or anything like that. They can look at the art and they start to think things and feel things and connect with some of it. They might hate some of it or love some of it, but there's feelings involved. And so changing that space reinvents the people that engage in that space. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely a great thing. Second place uh, came just shy of one point, uh, and it's Dubs. And then first place, I believe, is because of his flawless technique, Vile. So it's Sunday, the day after the fifth battle, and we got a bunch of artists together for just a Sunday jam. We've done this every year for the last three years where we get a bunch of people together. Today we have about 30 plus or minus artists, a lot of the folks that were in the battle as well as folks that are just from the Bay Area. A um, bunch of cats from Hawaii. And this area of Oakland has historically had uh, black and brown beef. Like usually first day of school is a massive beef, big gang fight. And so the local community organizers have been working for years to prevent that kind of violence. And they've actually saved lives over the years. It's good just to surround the kids with creativity and it helps open their minds. Um, we've done this at other schools with some success. I think that most youngsters on the streets just want an opportunity to create. And so if you give them opportunities and spaces and uh, materials, they're gonna spend their time creating and crafting things. It's more about creation than destruction. <laughs>